All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to day number six of Autodesk Fusion. Uh, today we're going to be working on lofts, offset planes, and physical material selection. What I'm going to do first is explain what a loft is. That way, when I'm starting doing these sketches and the offset planes, you can kind of understand what's going on. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up what we're making. We're making is a sledgehammer or a blacksmithing hammer. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to create a couple of sketches. We're going to create a first sketch that's going to be a the head of the hammer, which is going to be a circle with a diameter of 30 millimeters. We're going to do two more sketches for the body of that hammer. Both of those are going to be rectangles with 30 by 30. And then we're going to finally going to taper off to a rectangle of 30 by 5. So you can see this would be a couple of different extrusions, or but um, when you do that, the extrusions upon extrusions, they can kind of be choppy and not very smooth. So by doing a loft, we're able to make a non-uniform thick object or uniform shaped object pretty easily. So the first thing I'm going to do is let's go ahead and open up uh, Autodesk Fusion. I'm going to use the desktop based version because you can't do physical material selection. So everything up to that point you should be okay on. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a new sketch. Now we already said the very end of my hammer is going to have a diameter of 30 millimeters. And we're going to hit finish sketch. Where do I go from here? I'm going to hit construct and do offset plane. This allows me to make a work plane that is offset from my original XYZ work planes that you're given with. Now I'm gonna make the thickness of this hammer head, let's go ahead and make it um, 30 millimeters sounds about right. So let's do new sketch, okay? And we're going into a rectangle. Now the rectangles I prefer to pick would be the center rectangle, because as you click on the point of origin and then build outwards from there. Now I forgot to dimension this, let's go ahead and dimension this to a 30 by 30 and hit finish sketch. Alrighty, everything looks nice and lined up. Let's do another offset plane. So I'm going to click construct, offset plane, click the plane which I wish to offset from, and I'm going to drag this up. And now the thickness of my body looks going to be about there. I'm going to click OK. Let's make that new sketch. And we're going to do another two point rectangle. Now I very quickly just going to make this second rectangle. Let's do 30 by 30 and finish sketch. Alrighty. Now we've got one more offset plane to make. And I'm going to go ahead and just taper this out. Click OK. Click new sketch. Sketch on that plane. Now you notice every sketch I'm making, it, I'm working my way up. But um, let's see what we got here. Click on the top, and here we go. We have one more rectangle to make. That's going to be not near as big as the other ones. Let's make actually taper it just a hair bit inwards. And then hit finish sketch. So I've got four different sketches here at four different heights. And what I'm going to do is just loft those together. So under this create tab, you'll notice that there's a, a command called loft. And this allows me to connect all of my sketches together pretty easily. Now, I forgot I hit the point there, not the, let's try this again. There we go. Profile, hit OK. Oh, I clicked on something twice. Let's try that again. Create, loft, one, two, three, and four. Click OK, and there we go. That's looking all right. Next thing I need to do is throw a handle through there. So I'm gonna click on new sketch. I'm gonna pick a plane that I want to work in that's gonna go through my body. So I could click either one of these right here, really. And we're going to make a handle. I think a handle would be wonderful if it was an ellipse. 
and we're gonna hit finish sketch. So you notice my handle here is in the middle of my hammer head. So I'm gonna extrude two-sided extrusion because this is not going to be symmetric. Go ahead and drag my handle out to a point that looks okay. Now, right now it is automatically by default using cut. What if I hit okay here and I don't know how to change what I've done. All I've done was make a hole, but I need my handle back. Under this timeline right here you see on Fusion, you can double click any pieces you want to edit. Be careful because if one piece depends on another piece, you might create a towering tumble of uh, problems for you later. So I'm going to click and make new body. If I make a new body, Fusion now considers this piece and this piece to be totally separate from each other. That way when I go over here to my bodies portion and I right click and hit physical material, we can make something out of only uh, that head. So what would we call the head of our object? I would say it's going to be some sort of metal. And let's make it out of some high carbon steel. Let's pick a... Looks all right. Now, unfortunately, the color choice doesn't change very much. So, but let's go ahead and change the handle and let's pick a wood. Now the wood I really really like is this cherry wood. Looks good. Now if you notice on my piece that's in uh, on my website I did a lot more sketches to allow a more detailed profile of a basic hammer. But one thing I didn't do is I, had, I, did, I rounded off my edges and how did I do that? Well later on we'll get to that but I did a quick thing called a fillet. It's not a fillet. You fillet the fish, you fill it on Autodesk. And that allows you to round your corners off. And make your object a little bit more realistic if you're shooting for that kind of effect. Alrighty guys, good luck. If you have any questions, let me know and I'll see you on the next video.